Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to adjust lightning on face in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using a quick selection tool, using curves and brightness and contrast. And by the way, I'm going to show you two different methods on how to adjust the lightning on the face. So let's get started! So here in our document, I got here an image of this man. And our goal here is to adjust the lightning only on his face. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create selection on this man's face with the use of the quick selection tool. So select on that layer. I'm going to the toolbar and then I'm going to choose the quick selection tool. So let's go to the fourth tool. If you can't find that, just right click on it and find quick selection tool over here. And now let's create a selection on this man's face okay so i'm just going to click and drag on the skin on his face and to subtract the selection just press alt and then click and drag on the part that you want to deselect once done now i'm going to the adjustment layer Click on it, and then I'm going to choose the brightness and contrast. And now we just created here the layer of that. And yes, it is the selection is only on the face. Now I'm going to adjust the properties. So look how look what will happen if I adjust the brightness. If I bring the slider on the right, it brightens the image. Okay, and if I bring it. On the left it darkens the face see okay but in this case because the image looks a little bit dark so we're just going to brighten this up all right there you go and for the contrast you can just play the slider to find the best desired result and that's the first method on how to adjust the lighting on the face now look at the before and after so that's the before and that's the after okay and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us so i'm going to remove this one once again i'm just going to delete this one okay and for the second method now i'm going to make use of the dodge and burn using curves so to do that let's go to the adjustment layer click on this and select curves and this layer will appear so on this part now this will serve as our dodge layer so in this part i'm going to bring this up okay so the anchor point bring that up to lighten the background and after that click on that layer here and then let's turn it into a negative mask by pressing ctrl plus i to inverse that so there you go and after that, I'm going to create another curves layer there. And this one, I'm going to bring this one. It's going to be the opposite one. I'm going to bring this one to darken the image. And then, same thing, click on this mask. And then, let's invert it to negative mask. Control plus I. And there you go. Okay, after that, let's rename this one. So on the first one that has a bright, has a brighter layer, I'm going to set this one into dodge. And for this one, I'm going to set this one into burn. Okay. So now for the dodge, I'm going to click on the negative mask, select on the brush tool. And for the flow, adjust it to 25%. For the brush, let's use a soft brush here. And then we're going to lighten up the part of his face that ha that is bright. So to do that, I'm just going to zoom this one in, okay, and then select on brush tool once again. By the way, for the foreground color, that must be white, okay. All right, now I'm going to apply that. Okay, now let me just increase the brush size. Let's see how it works. Now, I already lighten up the brighter areas. I'm going to select on the burn. Yes, this one, the 
negative mask of it and then set that set the foreground into white and then i'm gonna decrease the size of my brush by pressing the open bracket key okay and i'm going to darken those areas like the shadow like the shadows okay, so here in the eyes All right, now once done, now we can already see the before and after. So I'm gonna hide these layers here. So this one is the before, and this one is the after. And those are two methods on how to adjust the lightning on face in Photoshop. See you in the next videos.